Hey, I'm Matt, and welcome back to the world of speed stacks. Are you ready to learn the cycle stack? Don't know what that is? Well, take a look at this. And here to teach us once again is our beloved trainer, Jenny Vieira. Hi, Matt. It's great to be back. It's great to have you back. Well, thanks. Are you ready to learn the most challenging stack in the sport? Oh, you bet but you're gonna have to walk us through it very, extremely slowly. <laughs> sure, Matt. Okay. Okay, there's three parts to the cycle stack. The first part is the 363. Three. The second part is the 66. Six. And the third and final part is the 110 one, ending up in a down stack 363. Three. Okay, well, where do we start? Well, the first part is the 363, three, and we already know that. So let's up stack our first three. Up stack our six using the 321 method. Up stack our last three. Soft hands. Yes, yeah, soft hands. Go back to the beginning. Down stack. Down stack. Down stack. Down stack. And stop here. Okay, this is the first transition in our cycle stack. Okay. This is the only place where we encourage you to use one hand. As we're down stacking this last stack with one hand and we're bringing it over, we're going to pick up two cups in our other hand. And what do we have? A, a six three, stack. two, one. Right. <laughs> so we're going to up stack our six, up stack our second six, and stop here. Okay. So this is our second transition. Okay. We're going to use this six to take down this six. So as we down stack the six, we're gonna get three cups in each hand. We're gonna slide out. Slide, slide out. Slide out. There we go. And pop them on the center. And those are the first two parts of the cycle set. Okay. How let's, about we do it again? Yeah, let's try that again. So I got. Start out in the 363. Three. 363. Three. Up stack our first three. Up stack the first three. Up stack our six using the 321 method. Right, left, right, left, right. Up stack our last three. Last three. Go back, back to, the, to beginning. the beginning. Down stack. Down stack. Down, Down stack. stack. Here's Down. our first transition. Remember, one-handed. One bringing it over, pick up two cups, and go Stop. right into our six stack. Okay. Do our second six. Okay. So this is our second transition. We're going to use these cups, these cups, three in each hand, to take down this six. Sliding out. Go outside. And pop outside. in the center. And those are the first two parts. Now that we've got that down, let's move on to the one ten one stack, the final part. Okay. We're going to take the top two cups off of the 12 stack, one in each hand. Now, one of these cups needs to be turned upside down. It doesn't matter if it's this cup or this cup. You can decide which one you want to turn upside down. Okay. So let's put it back on top, and let's practice turning one upside down. Okay. Pick up the top two cups, turn one upside down. Pick it up and put it back on. All right. Let's do it again. Top two cups. Turn it upside down. Pick it up and do it again. One last time. Okay. Now this time we're going to pick up two cups and turn it upside down. We're going to leave them there. Okay. Now we're ready to learn the 10 stack using the 5-4-1 method. Okay. Just like we practiced picking up three cups off of the 6 stack, we're going to practice picking up five cups off of the 10 stack. Okay. So we're going to pick up five cups in our right hand. Hold on. Okay. That's Little difficult. finger on the bottom. Okay, right. Strap right the cups. Turn them back on top. Let's do it again. Take up five cups. Separate them. And set them back on top. All right. Now this time, we're going to pick up five cups with our right hand and four cups with our left hand. Gotcha. This is called the 5-4-1 method. Once again, just like the six stack, we'll be alternating our hands, starting with the hand that has the most cups. So it's just like the 3 2 one method except taller. Exactly. Okay. So we're going to start with our right, left, right, center. Now, this is important because now what do we have? A 3 2 one this And we can place cups on both sides. Okay. So we're going to start right, left, right, left, right. And that's the upside of the 10 step. Let's practice that again. Okay. Take five cups in one hand. Four in the other, 
Okay. Alternating our hands. All right. Right, left, right, center. Right, left, right, left, right. It's like the uh, Leaning Tower of Speed Stacks. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, but that was bad. Now we're ready for the down stack of the 110 one. Okay. First, we're going to turn our hands the same way we set them down. Okay. Now, we're going to use these two cups, one in each hand, to down stack the 10. Okay. The cup on our right hand is going to slide this way, taking the top level. And the cup on our left hand is going to slide this way, taking the second level. Okay. So let's try that. Dragging diagonally to the right. Notice how I have one cup in my left hand? Just one, okay. I'm going to take all of them in my right hand, cross back over, and we're going to end up in a down stack 363. Three. I think I'm having a stack attack. <laughs> well, then how about we try it one more time? Okay. Let's put all of our cups together right. in one stack. Okay. Take the top two cups, all right. one of them upside down, using the 5 4 one method, five in one hand, five four in the other hand, four in the alternate other. them. Yep. Right, left, right, right. Center, center, right, left, right. Right, left, right. Okay. Now grabbing the single cups the same way we set them down. Drag diagonally to the right. Diagonally to the right. All the cups in your right hand. One, only one. One, one. Only one. Sorry. Cross back over. And we're going to end up in a down stack. Three, six, three. Okay, Jenny. So there's got to be some great tips on how to down stack this 10. Actually, there are. Okay. But first, we need to up stack our 10. Right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, 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 go. Nice. Now the first tip is, our right hand is going to drag the cups down while our left hand only knocks them down. No notice how I have only one cup left in my left hand. Now, the last tip is, as we down stack, we form an X. The first leg we, we just did. Now the second leg, we're going to cross back over and end up in a down stack 363. Makes sense. Those are some great tips. Now let's put everything that we've learned together and do the cycle. Okay. But remember, there's three parts. The 363. Three. The 66. Six. The 110 one, and it ends up in a 363. Three. There we go. So okay. Let's do it. Up back to the first part. Back to okay. the beginning. Back to the beginning. Down, down stack. Down, down stack. stack. Here's the first transition. Use one hand one and hand. go right into the 66. Six. Okay. Here's the second transition using these cups. We're going to down stack this six. Three cups in each. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to up stack our 10 stack. That's right. Five, Five four, one. four, one. Yep. Donating our hands. In the center. Yep. OK. Drag diagonally to the right. Down. And finish it off. Whoop. Yep. And that's the cycle stack. Well, that's amazing. I mean, you are probably the best teacher I have ever had for, OK, well, you're the only <laughs> teacher I've ever had for sport tacking, but you're still the best. Oh, thanks. Well, I don't know about you folks at home, but I'm sure not an expert quite yet. It's okay, don't worry. Just remember, practice, fix those fumbles, and never give up, and you'll get there. All right, well, thanks, Jenny. And for you folks at home, good luck and keep stacking. And remember, stack, stack fast. fast. All right, this time I'm going to be. Okay. You ready?